الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلاۃ وسلام على نبی محمد ولا علی وصح به وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله this is the second lesson in our study of Imam Nawawi's Riyadh Salihin the book of praise and gratitude kitab alhamdulillah ta'ala wa shukrihi and it is in the chapter entitled the obligation of gratitude wujub uh, bab wujub shukr so we need a working definition of what shukr is what does it mean to have gratitude to be gratitude and grateful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have thankfulness and we mentioned the ayat that imam anawi we mentioned qala allah ta'ala fadhkurni adhkurukum washkur washkur li wa la takfurun therefore remember me by praying glorifying i will remember you and be grateful to me for my countless favors on you and never be ungrateful to me never be ungrateful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is imperative for us this can help us in our iman help us fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by showing gratefulness when we understand what gratefulness is and may allah bless us to increase ourselves in ibadah to him subhana wa qala ta'ala la in shakartum li uzid li li uzidnakum allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says <clears throat> in surah al-ibrahim uh if you give thanks by accepting faith and worshiping none but allah i will give you more meaning more of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings so that when we are grateful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we give thanks la in shakartum if you give thanks or if you show gratefulness li azan li azinnakum that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase you meaning what increasing you in your reward increasing you in the blessings and the favors that he give you he gave you so by being thankful it's a means to getting more increase but again it begs the question what is thankfulness what does imam noah we uh mean by this bab and what does this what did the ulama the salaf how did they perceive this concept of shukr and who is a shukur so ahabat fi llah <coughs> going to the some of the aqwal of the salaf al manawi rahimallah ta'ala said in his uh in uh tawqif ala muhammad at ta'rif ta'rif which is a book uh i believe of sort of like a a dictionary of of sharia terms so imam uh, al munawi he said <clears throat> al shukr shukran al aw shukr bi lisan wa huwa thana ala al mun'im wal akhir shukr li bi jami al jawarih wa mukafatu ni'mati bi qadr al istihqaq wa al shukur badilu wus'a fi ada shukr bi qalbihi wa lisanihi wa jawarihihi ittiqad wa i'tiraf so an uh, manawi he said a shukr it's of two types <clears throat> it's two types of shukr He said <clears throat> the first shukr or way of uh, of gratefulness or or <clears throat> showing gratitude is by the tongue. And with the tongue it means that you are giving praise to the one who gave you that blessing. And who is that? Of course that's Allah Azza wa Jalla. So by having gratefulness on your tongue by praising the one who gave you those blessings the second type of shukr he mentions a shukr by all of your limbs and it is 
illustrating shukr by striving with one's the blessings, the physical blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given uh, a person. And then he says, a shukur is the one, the one who is grateful, who illustrates true gratefulness, is the one who strives and makes effort to show gratitude with their heart and their tongue and their limbs with uh, full belief, ittiqadin, this is the word aqidah, ittiqadin, with full belief and full acknowledgement of the one who, who uh, the creator of the heavens and earth, the one who gave you that those ni'mah, those ni'am. Waqala ibn al-Qayyim, ibn al-Qayyim said about shukr, al-shukr zuhur al-athar, athar ni'matillah ala lisan abdihi, thana'in wa'tirafin, wa ala qalbihi shuhurin wa muhabbatin, wa ala jawarihi inqiyadin wa ta'atin. Ibn al-Qayyim said about shukr, he said, a shukr, it is being open, openly showing the favors of Allah upon the uh, tongue of the servant, meaning by praising. And, and he mentioned, thana'in wa'tirafin, by acknowledging those favors of Allah and praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then upon his, uh, in, the, in the heart, by witnessing and testifying to those blessings, you know, acknowledging that in your heart, and through love. And upon the limbs, and the, uh, by being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and have ta'a by adhering to his commands and being obedient to him. So this shows us how the, some of the ulama described for us the, the this this powerful concept of having gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Waqala ibn Mundur Mundur Qala ibn Mundur Rahimullah Ta'ala, he said, وَالشُّكُورُ مِنْ صِفَاتِ اللَّهِ جَلَّ جَلَّ اسْمَهُ مَعْنَاهُ أَنَّهُ يَزْكُ عِنْدَهُ الْقَلِيلُ مِنْ أَعْمَالَ الْعِبَادِ فَيُضَاعِفُ لَهُمْ الْجَزَاءِ وَشُكْرُهُ لِعِبَادِهِ مَغْفِرَتُهُ لَهُمْ وَإِنْعَامُهُ عَلَىٰ عِبَادِهِ وَجَزَاءُهُ بِمَا أَقَامُهُ بِمَا أَقَامُهُ مِنَ الْعِبَادَةِ Ibn Mandur رحمه الله تعالى said He said الشكور الشكور is from the sifat of Allah They're from the characteristics, the divine characteristics of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala That's why some people they name their children Abdu Shukur. Abdu Shukur. Uh, and he said that the meaning of this characteristic, this divine characteristic of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, <coughs> is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that he increases for his slave, he increases with him from the little deeds that the servant does the, few, the 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 little minute deeds that the servant does that Allah increases it with him and rewards it immensely and shukruhu li ibadihi and the uh, the way in which Allah illustrates 
this gratefulness or this ingratitude, this concept of ingratitude, is by forgiving his slave and increasing him and giving him great reward for what he has done from ibadah, from worship. So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a shukur. And this divine sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that Allah rewards his slave for his ibadah and for his illustrating gratefulness. And that Allah increases him immensely for minor acts of ibadah. So Allah gives you much more reward than you deserve for worshiping Him. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. Wa qala Imam al-Sa'di Wa amma shukur min ibadi min ibadi Allah fa huwa alladhi yajtahidu fi shukr fi shukri rabbihi bi ta'atihi wa ada'ihi ma wadhafa alayhi min ibadatihi Imam al-Sa'di he said rahimahullah ta'ala as for shukur or th uh, 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 thankfulness or gra gratitude from the slave of Allah, then it is that he strives to be thankful to his Lord by being obedient to him in, in his acts of obedience to him and fulfilling those acts of worship that are required of him from the various types of worship or ibadat. So those are just some of the definitions to give us an idea of how the ulama of Ahl Sunnah define a shakur Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is one of his divine characteristics and what it means to be grateful. And in the next sitting, we will talk about, in the next lesson, we will talk about the farq bain a shakir wa shakur. The difference between a shakir wa shakur. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his divine names and attributes uh, to, to, to grant us ilm al nafi rizqan tayyibu amin al and put this on our scale of good deeds, not on our scale of bad deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and bless us to be a hujjah for us, not against us. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam.